All right, I got a good one for you. All right, let's hear it. Why did the tardy man stop to buy a clock? I don't know why the tardy man stopped to buy a clock. Because he needed to buy time. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> and if you don't want to buy a clock, but you got enough time to build a clock, we did ours for 20 bucks. We're going to show you how we did it today. All right, for this project, you're just gonna need five one by fours. We cut all of our one by fours. Our longest one is 37 inches long. That's gonna be our center. Then we made four 36 inch long ones, uh, a 30 something, 30. We're gonna put all the measurements down below. Yes. We're kind of figuring it out on film. We'll make plans in the end and attach those down below, or unless you're on Facebook, up above. Kim wants a 36 inch clock. So we're gonna take a piece of scrap wood that's about 19 inches long. We're gonna put two holes in it. 18 inches apart, and we're going to use this as our compass. First, we're going to find the pretty side of each board. Alright, we put all of our pretty faces down. Now we're going to find the center of the center board. Going to take a little 2 inch screw, pop it through the hole. Now I'm using a flat pencil. So I didn't draw a second hole, I just measured 18 inches down. I'm going to lay the pencil against the... Alright, all of our boards fall within the circle. Now we're going to give them some glue, pack them with some tack strips that we cut to be 36 inches long. Alright, we're going to glue the 36 inch long tack pieces. We're going to lay those down, put them in with an inch and a quarter brad nail, and then we're going to flip it over, draw the circle on the outside, and then do the cut. I'm dripping glue everywhere while I'm talking. <laughs> and I was losing it. <laughs> Is that a circle? All right, time to tack it down. All right, now we're going to flip it and draw our circle on the outside so that we cut it out with the jigsaw. Almost done. Almost done. All right, let's find the center of the center board again. All right, we're going to draw the circle on the front. All right, we have our circle drawn. Babe, this is a big clock. I think the hands are going to be too small. My <laughs> hands are too small. I think I got baby hands. I might have to order some bigger hands. Big clock with some baby hands. <laughs> All right, now we're going to cut it out with the jigsaw. All right. Ooh, mom decided. <laughs> All right, we got the rough cut circle cut out. Now it's time to sand the edge, and we're gonna try to get up to that pencil line. Keep it nice and round. All right, we're just gonna sand around the edge. We're gonna use a belt sander. I love this freaking thing. It works quick. Yes, it's amazing. I'm just gonna get the side, and Kim's gonna spin it for me. That's the plan. DJ Magic Kim. All right, so our circle's been cut, sanded, and sanded. <laughs> We're gonna stain it. All right, now it's time to put the white border around our clock. We're gonna leave a natural edge. We're gonna have a five inch white border that the uh, Roman numerals or the numbers will go in, and then we want the center natural again. For what I've done for my compass, I've drilled a hole in one end for a screw, and then I drilled two holes on the other end, five inches apart, that the pencil fits in. And we're gonna draw a line, we're gonna tape it off, draw a line, and cut it off. All right, All right we're just gonna put the pencil in there. Now we'll go to the outside. All right, now we're gonna tape it off around that line, and then we'll cut it. All right, we drew our line and then we taped on the line that we just drew. Now I'm going to draw another line and then we're going to cut it out. All 
All right, taped it off, drew the lines on the tape. Now we're gonna cut it out. First, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try putting the X-Acto knife in the jig I just made. Let's see if it works. All right, we'll leave that attached until I'm sure that I cut all the pieces. And we'll just start rolling it. <clears throat> the circle's been cut out. Now we're gonna paint it. Alright, it's painted. Now we'll give it like two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> and then we'll peel the tape off. Alright, paint's about dry. We're gonna peel the tape off and see what kind of ring we got. I hope it's a ring like Uranus. Alright, our border is done. We don't want it to look perfect. So we're gonna take some time and make it look old. All right, we're done with the paint and we're done with trying to make it look a little distressed. Now it's time to drill a hole and add the clock bits. So we tried to get them at Michael's and Lowe's and Home Depot, but they all had these same little ones. We wanted some bigger ones, so we got them off of Amazon. Some big hands. Big hands. Big hands, I know you're the one. Yeah, those look good. All right, we're just following the instructions for the clock bits and pieces. All right, place the plastic washer over the shaft. Insert the shaft through the hole in the clock surface. Dial plate brass washer over the shaft. Attach dial fixing brass hex nut. Attach hour hand. A minute hand. Wait a minute. Insert brass cap. How hard is it going? I guess that's it. All right, that's what our clock's looking like so far. Now we're gonna glue our numbers on, and that's it, right? Man, time flies. <laughs> All right, now it's time to put the numbers on. We gave it a quick wipe down so there's no dust. I'm gonna put some glue in this, and I'm gonna paint the glue on the numbers. And I feel like you've got a straighter eye than I do, so I'm gonna paint the numbers, hand them to you, and you will place them on the clock. So if they're crooked, I can yell at you later. Oh, so it'll be my fault? Yes. If we're late, it's gonna be my fault. All right, so if we're late from now on, my fault, my fault. So we were gonna flip a coin about which letters we went with, but we let you guys vote. And you guys voted to go with these flat black ones. What's the time? Oh, it's time to get ill. Holy crap, that's a good looking clock. <laughs> oh, hands over hands. build it only cost six dollars in parts and like eight dollars in wood somewhere around there we did it all for under 20 bucks and we ended up buying two clock pieces so not bad if you enjoyed watching us make our clock why don't you like subscribe hit that bell or that bell 
<laughs> one of these bells will do something and that will notify you of our new episodes on Wednesdays and Fridays. Hit one of these bells. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.